Hey there, Crystal again. Then today we are importing an OST file from Outlook and importing it into Outlook. So OST files and PST files. PST files, yes, they're personal, but they normally like to, uh, need to be backed up. OST files are files that are when you're in offline cache mode. So you're in a plane, you're writing up some emails, and they're in cache mode on your Outlook. As soon as you get connected to a network again, they don't have to be backed up, your network recognizes it and it will actually upload it into your computer. You can actually take that OST file and upload it into your new profile in Outlook. So really nice. Here I am in Outlook and I'll show you the steps. So I have an OST file that I'd like to import. I'm just going to go to File and Open and here's the import right here. So of all the choices here, I'm going to import from another program or file. And notice in the description it has PST and OST in here. When I click Next, I'm just going to choose the OST file that's in this list. This is the file type I want to import from. And I'll choose this one and click Next. It gives it a name of the file to import. You can actually change the name. You can browse to the location where you want the file to be imported and then click Next. And from the, the file that you're importing into Outlook, what folders do you want to import in here? All of the folders, all the subfolders, and that's listed right here. So everything is normally the default and I click Finish, Finito. And it'll take a few minutes, and I've seen some of these Outlook OST files to be enormous. They can be one gig, two gig, even larger. So even though this took a few seconds to upload, guess what? It may be several minutes for this to get done. So there you have it. That's uploading and importing an OST file into your Outlook. This is Crystal. See you soon.